Hey, I'm Emma Garlett, and on today's episode of Paint It Black, you'll hear a deeply personal story from Minister for Indigenous Australians, Linda Burney. During conversations surrounding The Voice, we've heard a lot of people criticise politicians and people in leadership roles for being out of touch with the community. But let's remember, these politicians are people too, and Minister Linda Burney knows all too well the experiences which directly impact Indigenous Australians. As we draw closer to a referendum on The Voice, there's a lot of pressure on the Minister for Indigenous Australians to deliver a solution. And with the yes and no campaign so different, this could be a hard task. But as you'll hear, her upbringing has made her resilient and the right person for the task. Hear her story in her own words. Well, I'm from a very, very, very small country town in the southwestern New South Wales, um, in Wiradjuri country, uh, a little place called Wisdom. And uh, I grew up there till I was about 15, 16, and um, then moved to Penrith uh, to live with my mother and fa- uh, stepfather for the first time. And um, I guess I grew up in a really typical country kids upbringing with bush rice and horses and irrigation channels and bush and cubby houses and all the rest of it. I did meet my father until I was 28 years old and uh, that was amazing. It was like a piece of the puzzle. Uh, there has been a piece of puzzle of my life uh, for a very long time and meeting my dad and finding out I had 10 brothers and sisters was just remarkable and so day I'll never forget. Linda's is just one of so many Indigenous stories that are important to be told. I hope we listen to not only our leaders but everyday people and their stories because their experience are the ones we need to hear to understand how to move forward as a process of truth-telling. Thanks for watching Painted Black with me, Emma Garlett. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode.